hate comments on booktube they happen they really do and i'm going to just blow this wide open i'm going to talk about this very very frankly a couple of weeks ago i got a comment on one of my videos that was very similar to one i got a couple of years ago and you know it doesn't really bother me that much but for some people especially people who go through depression body image issues confidence issues or even suicidal tendencies. This can really affect them. And I know there are a lot of booktubers who suffer from this, who have these issues, and you know what? They really shouldn't have to go through this. In the approximately two and a half years that I've been on booktube, I have received a grand total of two hate comments. And they've been exactly the same. Just the same message. And they made a comment on my hair. Okay, so you don't like how my hair is. I don't care. Really. The most recent comment, I didn't delete it. I just muted the person on my channel. So none of their comments are going to show up. No one will be able to see them. So if that was you and you're watching this now, you know what? I'm not going to see your comment. But I will address it. And I'm going to be talking a bit about how other people may be affected. Not so much myself. But I find that there are a lot of other booktubers, as well as YouTubers in general, who do have these issues with confidence, body image, depression, and so on. And those comments can really affect them. And, you know, it's a shame that these commenters don't seem to understand, they don't seem to be able to get it in their head, how much they can affect other people. It is just mind-boggling. I just don't understand how they can make these comments and think that it's just okay. You know what? You're hiding behind a keyboard. Really. Or it could be a phone too. Or a tablet. But anyways, you're hiding behind a screen and you are acting like a tough person. You probably have your own issues. You probably have your own confidence issues and you just like to lash out at others just because you don't have any confidence. If you do have confidence and you're doing it just for fun, then get a life. If you really want to know why I have my hair like this, well, it's because of this. It's, it's red. It's dry. It's flaky. It's called psoriasis. It's an autoimmune condition which causes my skin to grow at a at three times its usual rate. That's because my immune system is constantly attacking my skin. It's up here, it's also on my legs. Now, do I go out wearing shorts? Well, it's winter right now, so no. But in summer, yes. And I go swimming. And you know what? I'm not thinking about how it looks because I don't care. I have confidence in myself. I used to have body image problems, well, I do somewhat, hence the hair like this, but this is also where people look at me. They look at my face, and if it was uncovered, they'd probably just be staring at my forehead. Hmm, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not changing it just to satisfy your curiosity. I'm not changing it at all. I, like many other booktubers, make videos to talk about books. You know, we have a common interest. We like to talk about books. I don't care what you think what I look like, and I don't think other booktubers should care what others think they look like. Did that come out right? Yeah, anyways, you know what I mean. But, you know, some of them have confidence issues, and if they do, then those comments can really affect them. There's been so much drama on booktube, which I have talked about before, and I just think many of these people need to grow up. You're very immature. It's like you don't have the mental capacity to understand being tactful. The vast majority of booktubers are younger than me. I'm, I'm in my 40s and, you know, a lot of younger people tend to have more issues. They're more impressionable. They take those comments a lot more to heart. I've been through a lot more than they have, and it's kind of hardened my skin, uh, figuratively and literally. So those kinds of comments 
don't really affect me. At least not, not as much as they used to. It still does get under my skin a bit, but, um, you know, I just push it aside and carry on. And I think that's how most people should do it. If you are a person who is going through depression, who is who has problems with uh, body image as well as confidence issues, you know, you can talk to me. I've been through some of it before. I haven't been depressed, uh, at least not clinically depressed. I mean, I understand that you can go through time when you're having a very difficult time. I've been through that, yes. But if you have any issues and you want to talk about it, then you can let me know. If you're a person who likes to bully others, create drama, or just insult others just for fun, get a life. And with that said, I'm just going to carry on doing what I do best, and that is being myself. I'm not going to worry about any hate comments. If there are any that are in the comments below, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to have some fun with you. I may delete your comment. I may just mute you. I may actually respond, but we'll see. But for those of you who are legitimately having problems and you don't know what to do, then you can talk to me. I, I can lend you my ear. I can give you some advice if I can. But sometimes just having someone listen is great. Uh, you can probably DM me. Uh, you can check my Twitter. Uh, you can go down in the comments, not the comments, the uh, description box below and just find my Twitter and send me a DM. And for everyone else, let me know what you think about all of this the comments are below now if you liked or disliked this video then give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down whichever you like and if you do like what you see and you want to see some more of my videos then please subscribe down below and check out those videos there's actually one one right up there the top one is about my psoriasis story so i'll see you next time